Okay, so we're going to get started by clicking on the new user button. All right, Jacob, go ahead and click on new user. Maybe I have to click on one more time. Excellent. Now we are asked for the institutional key. The institutional key is on the is, um, handouts that I gave on the class, or it is also in Blackboard in the week one folder. Jacob, go ahead and switch to the Blackboard tab and uh, let's go to my assignments. And now go ahead and scroll down a little bit and click on week one. <coughs> and the institutional key is T206-223-6. Uh, uh, so go ahead and copy. Is there like control on here? Uh, what you can do is you uh, do a right click like that, copy, and then do a right click with two fingers. Okay, so this is the institutional key. Let's wait right here for a second, Jacob. Let, uh, let's have everybody. Oh, no. That's okay. Just uh, do two fingers. Excellent. Okay, everybody following us this far? If you're stuck, raise your hand. Let's continue. So go ahead and say submit. And now it says we're from Vint Valley. Excellent. Okay. Now it's time to put in your own code that's in your textbook. There are two codes that you have in your uh, bundle. The first one is for Sam, and this is necessary for homework. The second one is for evil. The e Those are errors. Okay, uh, this would be a zero. So if if the O has a slash through it, that's a zero. I got you. <laughs> What's that? It's like the thing's on you right now. I'm going to turn off the screen for a moment because you're filling out your uh, personal information. So Jacob is putting in his uh, secret answer code and so forth. We'll mute this for a moment. We'll come back in just a minute. Okay, uh, great. So stop right here, please. Okay, so now we're going to resume with Jacob. He's looking at the uh, important agreement. Now, normally, you want to run this by your legal counsel. Jacob, we need to do it carefully. Uh, we always do that. Uh, in this instance, because we have worked with this vendor before, we have a level of uh, trust with him. So go ahead and scroll up to the bottom and then say agree. Okay. And now Jacob is registered. His textbook uh, code was used. He now has access to Sam. At this point, though, he is not tied with our class. So no assignments are displayed. So here's the next step. Is everybody caught up with us so far? So the next step is to click on sections right at the very top. You see activities? Let's click on sections and join a section. All right, now we have a list of sections, uh, all the sections we have at GVSU for, for the fall and winter. Does anybody remember our section number? Four. Four? All right. So we have to look for CIS 150-04 for winter 14. Okay, it looks like it's right here. Do I click on over here? Yep, go ahead and click on the bottom on the right. Excellent. Even though it says Brad on the side, uh, this is uh, who uh, scheduled the uh, sections for us. Um, so just make sure that the title agrees. CIS 150-04 for winter 14. Looks good. Go ahead and press the, um, 
little uh, little orange cross. And let's go back to my sections just to verify that the correct section is on. Excellent. Now, go ahead and go back to activities at the very top. All right, and now you can see that we populated the screen with different activities that will take place throughout the semester. Okay, is everybody here <coughs> getting stuck at this point? All right, good deal. Jacob, thank you very much for your uh, assistance. I'm going to demonstrate something under your account for, for a few more minutes, all right? So now what I'd like to show you is how these labs will work. First of all, we have a few types of assignments. We have exams, which include quizzes. We have training, projects, and SAM paths. Let's take a look at an activity list button. The activity list is where you will spend most of your time because this is um, the pre-scheduled program of our, of our activities. So next week you will see a new set of activities. Right now we're looking at uh, SAM Path Word 1 and Project Word 1. That's what you would find in Blackboard under Week 1 as assignments. So how do we get started? Well, the first part would be to learn the skills, then do a project afterwards. Okay? So the project, you always want to leave for the last part. How do we learn the skills? First, we learn the skills by creating a relationship with the robot and telling the robot what we already know. And this takes place by going through the pre-exam. I will demonstrate how that works. <laughs> 